Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, May the 10th. It's the third week in the Easter season, and week two in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verses 9 through 24, and Daniel 6, verse 1 through 15. And join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips. My mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Alleluia. Psalm 31, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief. So is my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my sins, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintances, they that see me avoid me. I am forgotten like the dead, out of mind, I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander again of many, fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O God. I said, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from them that persecute me. Shine your face on me. Save me for your love's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O God, for I have called on you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to shame, which speak grievous things, proudly and contemptuously, against the righteous. How great your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you, before the children of the earth. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of mortals. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you. For you have shown me marvelous kindness in a besieged city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. Love God, all you saints, for God preserves the faithful and repays to the full the proud. Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart, all of you that hope in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. The plot against Daniel. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps, stationed throughout the whole kingdom, and over them three presidents, including Daniel. To these the satraps gave account, so that the king might suffer no loss. Soon Daniel distinguished himself above all the other presidents and satraps, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king planned to appoint him over the whole kingdom, so the presidents and the satraps tried to find grounds for complaint against Daniel in connection with the kingdom. But they could find no grounds for complaint or any corruption, because Daniel was faithful, and no negligence or corruption could be found in him. The men said, We shall not find any ground for complaint against this Daniel, unless we find it in connection with the law of his God. So the presidents and the satraps conspired and came to the king and said, O King Darius, live forever. 
all the presidents of the kingdom, the prefects and the satraps, the counselors and the governors, are agreed that the king should establish an ordinance and enforce an edict. That whoever prays to anyone, divine or human, for thirty days, except to you, O king, shall be thrown into a den of lions. Now, O king, establish the interdict and sign the document so that we, so that it cannot be changed according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which cannot be revoked. Therefore, King Darius signed the document and the interdict. Although Daniel knew that the document had been signed, he continued to go to his house, which had windows in its upper room open toward Jerusalem and to get down on his knees three times a day to pray to his God and praise him just as he had done previously. The conspirators came and found Daniel praying and seeking mercy before his God. And then they approached the king and said concerning the interdict, O king, did you not sign an interdict that anyone who prays to anyone divine or human within thirty days except to you, O king, shall be thrown into a den of lions. The king answered, The thing stands fast according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be provoked, it revoked. Then they responded to the king, Daniel, one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or to the interdict that you have signed. But he is saying his prayers three times a day. When the king heard the charge, he was very much distressed. He was determined to save Daniel, and until the sun went down, he made every effort to rescue him. And then the conspirators came to the king and said to him, Know, O king, that it is a law of the Medes and the Persians, that no interdict or ordinance that the king establishes can be changed. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.